Hello YouTubers. Let me introduce my Kindle weather display using a Raspberry Pi and temperature sensors. So you can see here's the Kindle showing my weather. I have two sections. The first section is the house temperature sensors where there's actual temperature sensors around my house. We have a one sensor inside, one sensor outside. And you can see there's one graph there showing you know, the trends of both inside and outside temperature. I'm using Celsius obviously, not Fahrenheit. And then the other section we have down here is the local weather forecast where I've basically taken the weather underground forecast. So I quite like their graphs, their forecast and their graphs that they do. So I basically implemented my own section Using that, I, um, I query them using their free API, and then I use um, Flot and various things like that to draw the graphs. So there we go, we have our house readings, and then we have our forecast from Weather Underground. So looking at the Raspberry Pi, I have a Raspberry Pi 3. Not that it matters, you could probably use a Raspberry Pi 2. And here we go, here's the DHT22 temperature sensor, a very cheap one, and one that I had already. And that's on my breadboard. And this is the slice of radio, so this communicates through um, RF to my temperature sensor outside. And usually that sits directly on top of your GPIO pins. So I couldn't have this plus the... DHT22 at the same time, so I sort of I broke them both out. And I bought myself a little 26-pin cobbler here, and um, unfortunately, the the this is designed for a slightly different breadboard with different sort of rail spacings. So I had to sort of stick one breadboard on top of each other. So, but that's how it works. So that that measures the inside temperature. This one measures the outside temperature. And if we walk outside. So here's my outside temperature sensor. Every five minutes it sends a wireless or radio RF signal to the receiver on the Pi and gives it a temperature reading. Uh, it's got a little battery inside and that'll last for a year apparently before needing replacing, which is great. So obviously the Raspberry Pi is taking all these, these temperature readings and it constructs a web page which you can access just from the local LAN which is a Python script which cobbles together all this JavaScript and HTML and then there's another cron job which converts this actual web page to a PNG file of course the this is because the Kindle needs a PNG file to display that's the file format that it understands so there it is there as well speaking of the Kindle I just got this off Amazon for 20 US dollars and there's lots of information on the web about how to jailbreak it and you just got to log into it and create a cron job which um, executes just a bash script that you can copy to the Kindle itself and for example my bash script is just this which I just got somewhere on the web it, um, it just removes the any existing PNG file it has and then if it can download the latest copy from the Pi then it displays it or else it just displays a, a not found image instead so there you go that's my Kindle Raspberry Pi project there's been lots of um, you can see lots of tutorials on the web about how people have turned a Kindle into a display for a sort of internet based weather forecast and there's also lots of tutorials for about how to attach temperature sensors and create like a web page of the temperatures in your house. But um, there's none as far as I could see about how to sort of combine them and make them look like something nice like this. So it was a great project to do. Uh, it was my first real project involving Raspberry Pis and Kindles. So it was great fun. And I also bought this little stand off Amazon and it just sits around the house and it works really well. So I'm really really glad to have it. So, hope you enjoyed the video and um, 
possibly based on how much interest this video gets and any comments and people contact me I might um, put up some more detailed build instructions on a blog I'll put um, information in the video description so thanks for watching